Добрый день! In this video, we're moving on to the genitive case of describing words. You've already seen this sentence with the glass. I have a glass. We're going to add the describing word adjective to it. New glass. У меня есть новый стакан. So right away, we can review and remember that when we use nouns, and this is where you need to be clear on parts of speech. So words that refer to things, like stakan, uh, words that refer to people, like mama, student, uh, professor, uh, words that refer to places, like college, park, bank, all those words are nouns. And when we use them in Russian, they have their own endings. So nouns have cases in Russian. Right now, this word is a nominative case, which means out of the dictionary, no change. And also, we know that this word is masculine. Nouns have gender. Gender and number and case. So, singular, masculine, nominative case. And once we know that, we can describe these words with adjectives. Adjectives are describing words. New, beautiful, hungry, unhappy. Um, what else? Any of those words. So right now we're looking at an adjective novi. And when we use adjectives in Russian, they come before nouns, just like in English, new glass. And the thing is that the now uh, the adjective needs to agree with the noun that it describes in all its characteristics. So if the noun is singular, masculine, nominative case. The adjective has to be exactly the same, masculine, singular, nominative case, and it is right now. So we know that when we look up adjectives in the dictionary, uh, nouns do not change their gender, but adjectives do to match the noun they describe. So when we look up an adjective in a dictionary, it's always given to us in masculine singular form. So if that's the noun I'm describing, masculine singular, then I don't need to make any changes here. So masculine singular nouns, most of them have ending uy. Uy or e or oi. So uy is the most common one. And that's singular form. So if I want to say I have one new glass, the same thing. This word adjusts to match the noun masculine singular adin. Consonants everywhere at the end for masculine. This word adjusts to match the noun uh, novi and then stakan is the one that dictates all the conditions for all other words, the most important word in this phrase. But when we go to plural, so nouns uh, have their own endings for plural forms. For most masculine and neutral nouns, it's ui, ui or e, ui, most common ending. Adjectives have their own endings. Uh, for plural forms, so uye, not just uye, but uye, masculine singular uye, masculine plural uye. But the good thing about plural endings is that it's not only good for masculine words, plural endings are good in adjectives, are good for all words. So right now, stakan is masculine, but if I changed it to a feminine word and made it plural lampa, I would make it plural lampy then novia wouldn't have to change because the plural adjective form is good for all genders. In singular, I have to differentiate. Novi, stakan, masculine. Novaya, lampa, feminine. Novaya, akno, neuter. In plural, I don't need to change novia, the same uye ending for all words. So novia stakani, novia lampy, novia okna. So I wanted to make sure that you're clear on that. Now we're going to look at using describing words in genitive case. So for now, I want to show you that with words 2, 3, 4, uh, you don't need to use describing words. It will be different, so don't worry about it. But we can use describing words with the word net. And I'm going to discuss these endings in the next video. До свидания.